Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. Got a, this is an IPA. It's called Shane McConkie India Pale Ale. Um, untamable, eccentric, and legendary. It's a 7% ABV. It's got seven SRMs and 70 IBUs. Um, don't ask me what the SRMs mean because I do not know. I've been told before, but I can't remember. Let me back this up just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Shane McConkey, I'm going to take a guess that he's a free skier. Um, it says back here, I think it talks about him. Um, Shane McConkey Foundation. Huh. It says, the legendary IPA is a toast to the pioneer of free skiing. Shane McConkey. Is that a period? Let me read that again. This legendary IPA is a toast to the pioneer of free skiing. Comma. Shane McConkey. Period. We utilize Chinook and Centennial hops to create a bold, citrusy pine flavor that pushes the boundaries of your taste buds. The beer is offered unfiltered and raw, the same way Shane lived his life and inspired so many others to follow in his tracks. <clears throat> I don't know what this, what this means. If he one time jumped and his junk fell out or or what? <laughs> um, so I'm not totally sure what this means. Censored. I mean, it's in a black shadow, so it's like... <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Um, this is from... Uh, I don't know if I told you this or not. Crazy Mountain Brewing Company. Um... <clears throat> Brewed and packaged by Edwards in Denver, Colorado. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of an interesting looking can. It's silvery. You can see how it is. Kind of silvery. Okay. Let's see how this IPA is. I've had some decent ones here lately. I haven't had anything like, you know, tremendous or anything. Hopefully I don't get a phone call during this. There's a possibility that I could I want to apologize in advance if I do, because I'm going to have to make a, a two-part. Oh, man. Man, that smells good. Ooh. It's got a deep orange appearance. Half a finger of head. Off-white head. Nice and frothy. I'm getting like a tangerine, tangerine orange. A little bit of a sweet, juicy. Well, I've got my glands going. A little bit of a light sourness on the back end of the aroma. It smells really, really good. What did it say about it? Chinook and Centeno hops. The pine is, it's there in the aroma. Um, I'm anxious to taste this. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is good. That is really, really good. Very, very flavorful getting 
did it say the IBUs? It did, 70 IBUs, that's high. I was gonna say, this is some high IBUs. I forgot that I even read that. <clears throat> very good. But even be, for being that high of IBUs, it's still very smooth beer. Um, a refreshing IPA. Medium body. I am getting the pine. Whichever one the pine is on the on the hops, it it contributes, I think, a lot to the bitterness. Ooh, wow, <clears throat> man, is that good? Oh man, that is really good. Very impressed. Very impressed with that. Check this out if you can, if you find this. Um, very impressive. Ooh. Then bitterness, as you drink it, they do, they do uh, catch up with you a little bit. But, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a pleasing bitterness. If you are used to hoppy beers, not, you know, not everybody is, not everybody likes IPAs. But I've come, I've, I've grown to appreciate them, you know. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there, and I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Check, check this out if you find it. If you are an IPA person and you like high IBUs, um, I think you might like this. All right. Like I said, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you all on the next one.